Soon students will be arriving at the new city centre campus of University of Wales Newport. They'll be travelling a well-trodden path when they come because people have been drawn to this riverside location for millennia. The first people known to have been here on the Lower Usk were hunters. The small flint microliths which once tipped their spears confirms that during the Mesolithic almost 6,000 years ago, people were here and on the nearby Gwent levels. Their prey would have been very different from today. They were hunting red deer, wild pigs and aurochs, massive prehistoric cattle that could stand as high as two meters at the shoulder. Artifacts confirm that people were also here in the Neolithic, although their habitation sites tended to be on higher ground. That continued to be the case with the development of metallurgy, when social structures became more complex. In the Iron Age, this area was in the heartland of the Silures, the native tribe who fought the Romans to a standstill in the 25-year guerrilla war. The hill forts at the Geyer and Lodge Hill are still visible in the landscape today. The Silures didn't neglect the river. Excavations by the university on Lodge Hill confirm that a variety of luxury goods were coming to the Silures by the river. The Romans also came here building their legionary fortress upriver at Caerleon. One of the attractions of Caerleon was that it could be supplied by sea. 2,000 years ago, Roman ships would have regularly passed under the university's new site, bringing food and luxury items to the fortress. Ocean-going vessels continued to come to the Lower Us. In 1049, for example, 36 Viking ships passed up the river here. They had formed an alliance with the Welsh king Griffith ap Llywelyn and were massing for an attack into England. In the Anglo-Norman period, this part of the river became even more important. Eventually, the castle was located here overlooking the river, and soon the new port was replacing the old port at Caerleon. Newport Castle is clearly in view from the university's new site. The university's new site would have provided a perfect vantage point when, in about 1469, the Newport ship limped into harbour and docked here for repairs, which at some point were abandoned, allowing the river to claim the medieval ship. It would have provided a perfect vantage point too, when in 2002, the archaeologists recovered the vessel. The maritime tradition continued to shape the area, particularly after the Industrial Revolution had transformed Newport. Newport went from a population of 750 in 1791 to almost 14,000 by 1841. One of the reasons for that industrial transformation was coal. By the outbreak of the First World War, the South Wales coal field was producing some 56.8 million tonnes of coal every year. By 1923, Newport, which was one of the most important of those South Wales coal ports, exported nearly 7 million tonnes of coal. The university site played its role in this development. The Monmouthshire Canal joined the river and wharves lined the river bank. Jetties extended into the river and there was a collection of warehouses and other waterfront buildings. During the Second World War, Newport continued to be one of the main South Wales coal ports. It also became an important staging point for the Normandy invasion. The site became a prime target, particularly as a petroleum storage facility had been built on its eastern boundary. As attacks from the air began, anti-aircraft batteries ringed Newport. Nevertheless, bombing raids continued through 1940 and 1941. A Heinkel bomber was brought down, crashing at the top of Stowe Hill in September of 1940. In the event, the city centre site was not bombed as heavily as some areas, in no small part thanks to the barrage balloons which floated overhead. In the post-war period, the Newport waterfront declined in importance, and it continued to do so through the remainder of the 20th century. Soon, the city centre campus site accommodated nothing more than an ATS garage and car parks. Now, however, new life is being breathed into the site, and a new historical landmark is emerging with the construction of the city centre campus.